week number one for Claire. My name is Jody Bunting and this is our free six week course where our slimmers are going to lose a stone in the six weeks. Hi Claire. Hello. How you doing? Very well. You've survived week number one and you're back. Yes I've survived week one and I've still got a bit of a dodgy knee. You know, I told you last week. Yeah. So I'm still um, taking it easy on all the steps and everything else. So um, I'm purely just recording everything food wise. So at the minute, it's no exercise. And what's the movement on the scales? Two pounds. Yay, great. <laughs> You're happy with that? I am actually, yeah. Yeah. Like we said, although it's 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 more challenging when you can't exercise, it's not impossible. So that's the good result, isn't it? Yes. Right. So let's have a little look through your food diary. Yep. Um, so you've had eggs this morning. Yes. With tomatoes, onions and cheese. Well, was that an omelette? It was. <laughs> and for lunch, you've had some fruit. Yes. I'm saving myself for spaghetti bolognese tonight. Oh, lovely. That sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> um, yesterday lunch uh, was a roast dinner, it looks like. Yes, it was a roast dinner. In the evening, you had a little bit of a Sunday night treat. <laughs> yes. Bit of rum, bit of carver. Yeah. And, yes. Uh, a king pot noodle, not just a pot noodle, a king pot noodle. Always got to be a king. <laughs> but the good news is you've squeezed those calories in and you've still hit your calorie goal, haven't you? Yes. So this is the best thing about counting calories. You know, if you do want a treat and you want to have a drink of alcohol, you can squeeze it in and obviously still lose weight. So well done on that, Claire. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Uh, Saturday, you had banana for breakfast, uh, for yeah. lunch, one of the big soups, uh, mm -hmm. then evening, salmon, potatoes, some nice hollandaise sauce, a bit more Prosecco as well. You squeezed that in there. It was also, the weekend. <laughs> but also a bit of Strongbow. And I love this. <laughs> Even some pancakes as well. Mm. Yes. I love your style. <laughs> now we we have gone over on the calories slightly uh but that's yes. fine on a saturday that's absolutely fine uh then friday um a bagel with some cheese soft cheese uh for lunch yeah. it was crisps some crackers and a satsuma and then in the evening yeah. some fish cakes salad cheese and olives lovely and then in the snack section, we've got a little bit of vodka and a bit more kava. <laughs> and then even some dairy milk. Lovely. Yes. And again, just gone over slightly on the calories. Now, with the calorie goal, yep. you actually have some leeway of 150 calories. So if you went over every day by 150 calories, that wouldn't, that's fine. Uh, but okay. just try and try and let that be the maximum if you can yeah um, obviously okay. it can be a little bit more tricky on a Friday and a Saturday night but no problem uh, Thursday you had a bagel with eggs yeah uh, poached lunch, eggs yeah great uh, for lunch chicken thighs with um, a packet of cheese and onion yeah Chris. Uh, for dinner, uh, some super noodles, chicken flavour with some prawns. Lovely combo. And then in the evening, a couple of biscuits and some peanut M&Ms. Now, yes. do you know why peanut M&Ms are better than regular M&Ms? Um, well, I would say it's more nutrition from the yeah. nuts. Absolutely. It's got more protein in from the uh, nuts. So yeah. that's why it's good to have the, the nut ones. Yep. Wednesday. I love your cup, by the way, as well. <laughs> I know. I'm at my mum's, actually. How she are you? Me, so, yeah. <laughs> You're around your mum and she's giving you a royal cup of tea or coffee, is she? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 
Tell her if she can do it in a cup and saucer for the Queen next time, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Wednesday morning was poached eggs. Um, yes. For lunch, Rivita and hummus. And then in the evening, some chicken thighs with some rice and another little tipple, which is fine. And then last Tuesday was poached eggs again for breakfast with a little bit of salami. Is that right? Yes. That's okay. Yeah. That's good. Get the protein in. Um, for lunch was broccoli, mashed potato and salad cream. That's a bit of a weird one, Claire. <laughs> it is a bit of a weird one. Um, yeah. <laughs> was it nice? Was Did you enjoy go. it? I was a little bit on the go and I was just, I had some broccoli left over, so I heated that up and I had some mashed potato left over. So <laughs> I just heated them up and then put some salad cream and then, yeah, so and then I didn't want anything else after that. <laughs> to be honest, when you put salad cream on anything, it tastes amazing. So <laughs> I like that. Um, then in the evening, uh, feta cheese. Oh, well, basically a salad. Some yes. Tuna and olives. Great. Uh, yes. A bit more drink on there and a penguin biscuit. Fab. Yeah. That's really good, Claire. So have you felt overall this week? Have you felt hungry? Have you felt deprived? Or are you feeling okay? No, I've not felt hungry at all. Um, yeah. But I think that might be because I've not been exercising either. So, you know, how I mentioned before, because I'm, I go to the gym three or four times a week, I do Taekwondo twice a week, and I'm always hungry. Yeah. So I think that my appetite, I've lost it a little bit um, because I'm not, I'm not exercising. Yeah. So, um, but I haven't found it difficult. I think Great. with the, um, you know, what counts all the calories? I can't remember what it's called. The My Fitness, My Fitness Pal. Pal. Yeah. Yeah. That's really easy to use. And, it, and it's so visual as well. So yeah. once you've put one meal in or whatever you've had or your snacks or whatever, you can see really clearly what you've got left. Yeah. Um, so I'm really, I really like that. It's really useful. And the good news is because you're keeping a little bit of drink in there, a bit of chocolate, stuff like that, it is going to be sustainable as well. So this is the important thing. Yes. I want you to really enjoy your journey and obviously get to our goal uh, in a nice way. Yes, yes. This coming week, uh, what have you got on? Anything, any challenges or is it going to be similar to last week? No, pretty, pretty similar to be fair, but obviously no bank holiday next weekend. So I'm hoping to be a bit better. <laughs> no, next that's weekend. okay. Don't worry. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> what are you up to today? Anything exciting? Just visiting, really. Um, visiting my mum at the minute and I'm going to see my friend. Um, and then I might take the kids just to the park for an hour, just for them okay. to let off some steam. Um, and then it'll be home time and then um, ironing and whatnot getting ready for the week kids Great. uniform whatever so right so we finish off by saying what is your goal for next week um definitely obviously keep up with everything that i'm doing as in recording everything um cut down a little bit on the whole call um and at least go for two pound again fabulous that's perfect and we'll be on track so that's exactly what we want yeah fab right any other questions um do i need to um sort of every monday obviously that's when i'm weighing myself in the mornings yeah um so do i need to let you know sort of via um messenger or yeah if you can um, that would be great right okay if you forget, don't worry i'll just ask you on the call but uh yeah if you yeah. can i'll be fab brilliant just we'll so do. I know whether you're going to be laughing or crying when I call you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, no, it's right. been a good week. It's been a good first week. <laughs> oh, right. Really well done, Claire. It's great. Thank you. Right. I will see you next week. Okay. See you next week. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye.